is Dan Rojas and I'm standing next to a prototype for a Sterling engine that we've been working on. This is one of the off-the-shelf designs that we've been trying to accomplish. Now if you've never seen one of these before, you're probably thinking, wow Dan, you're really good at making things. I could never make something like that. But if you have seen one of these before, you know that this is nothing more than a compressor pump. This is a uh, compressor pump designed to be hooked to an electric motor. Now, the reason that we're using this as a possible Stirling engine concept, and I have had a little bit of success with it, is based around a design that looks something like this that's been on the internet. Now, in order for that Stirling engine to work, the pistons need to be offset so one piston follows the other. You also need a regenerator or something to transfer the air back and forth between the two pistons. Ironically, these compressors do exactly that. They're offset and they also have this which is designed to get air. It's designed for a different purpose in a compressor, but it serves the same purpose. So with a few modifications, you can actually make this work like that. Now compressors have flap valves inside that allow the air to go in one direction to create um, pressure when you turn the pump on. They also have inlets here where air filters go. To do a Stirling engine, you basically plug up those inlets. When you do that, you now have a completely sealed piston inside. These seal so well that you could actually put a gas like hydrogen in there for a more efficient run. I've gotten a little bit of success with this. I just have never had enough uh, heat to actually get this going. You would need a lot for an engine this size. So what we're going to do in future videos is take this apart. I'll show you what I've done to it to modify it to possibly work as a Stirling engine. I'm also going to be showing you how you can take this exact setup. You have two perfect pistons here. You could convert this into a very, very powerful steam engine with just adding a check valve and taking a couple things off. It does work very well. I've done it with some solenoids just testing it and it works very good. It works as good as any uh, steam engine that I've ever seen. The advantage to that is that the bore size on these is very large and it would produce a lot of power. If we ever get sunshine again, I can actually test this with the new large Fresnel lens that we have. It's actually starting to rain right now. so. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.